dark, pretty dark. I'm kind of looking at the camera there. Uh, I just dropped off Brandon and Jill. We, uh, I, I didn't film near as much today as I thought I was going to film. They kind of got hectic and crazy. Uh, we had a lot of trucks coming in and out. They were able to move several logs today, luckily, which was good. And then I had to go do some uh, oh, I, other kind of business stuff this afternoon. Some uh, I don't even know what you'd call it. Stuff other than logging. I had to go take care of some other stuff uh, there locally. But tomorrow, hopefully the rain holds off tonight because they're, they're calling for some rain. And hopefully it holds off so we can try to start filling that log deck up again tomorrow. Then Brandon and I, if we don't get too much rain at all, this is rain chance the next five days, we're going to start doing dirt work Friday on that job up there. So our, our Labor Day or Memorial, whatever weekend it is coming up, our weekend will be filled with doing a dirt project. We've got quite a bit of dirt work to do, so we'll we'll have a track hoe in there and the dozer and the skid steer. So we'll be we'll be busy doing that. So that's that's our weekend project up there for the duck club. So it's dark, you can't see me anywhere. You're just kind of listening to me rambling on. But uh, busy season's kicking off tomorrow night. I've got to go up to Higginsville, Missouri, and look at some walnut timber tomorrow evening. So. Uh, the calls are starting to pour in for that. You see the screen's completely black now. Let's try this. Yeah, there we go. So, calls are starting to kind of roll in for uh, walnut timber, which is a good thing. Uh, it's what I prefer to cut, naturally. So, yeah, we're looking forward to kind of the fall and stuff kicking off, getting busy again, which I'm always excited about getting back on that, that brown wood myself. Guys, thanks a lot for uh, following along. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow us on all of our social outlets. Uh, be sure to check out everything we do at Logger Threads. I know we've we've had some problems here the last week. We put the new design up, the Logger Lose It design, which we've had a lot of great feedback on that design. And it's not showing up on the website completely for some reason. We're trying to work the bugs out on that. So if actually, if you click on a couple of the other designs that are up, It'll actually kind of show up at the bottom there as a, as a, like a, also look at this kind of design. So I'm not a tech guy by any means. It's crazy because I, all the stuff I do with websites and apps, I really know nothing about trying to keep them up and run them or fix them or maintain them, but I'm, I'm trying to learn, them, which is a slow process. So, but yeah, check out all that stuff. Um, everybody asks about doing this design, doing that design. We're all the time working on new designs, we are. And it's one of those things, the quicker we sell designs we have, the quicker we come out new designs. So it's kind of one of those things, it's a, it's a vicious cycle. Uh, we, because it's it's self-funding, like, you know, we, we keep it all, like all the money from logger threads, all those designs, they go right back into new designs, uh, new apparel options, new features, just, we just try to keep going with it, uh, kind of represent you know, all of our lifestyles and the logging and timber industry. It's, it's, uh, it's, my name's not on it anywhere, nor do I want my name on it. You'll never see anything that says Turner Logging, anything ever for sale, especially on the Logger Threads website. That's just, that's not what it's about. It's, uh, it's, it's meant to be a voice for all of us loggers everywhere around the world is what Logger Threads is. So keep that in mind when you're ordering or looking at it. So I'm going to get off here. Hopefully we'll have a good video tomorrow, guys. Sorry I've kept you waiting so long. About a week or so on the video, but here's one now. See you later. It's been a few days since I put a video out. Probably upwards of a week. Uh, it's, it's been pretty slow, of course. As you can see, they've got a bunch of rain. This is actually the first day I've been to this job up here since last Thursday. It's Tuesday morning now, of course. So, yeah, five days, I guess. So... There's supposed to be some trucks in here moving logs out and like a fool i didn't come up here yesterday to look and see how this was i uh i asked one of the landowners here and he said everything was good to go which the road in here you know it's it's pretty dry out here other than some mud holes but they you know friday they had two and a half inches of rain up here so it looks like they're pre-hauling out with a just a tin wheel they got the pup dropped off right there see it's there in front of my trailer
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So hopefully they can get back here all right. Me and Brandon, we've got a bunch of dirt work we were wanting to start up here Thursday. Cause it's a uh, Labor Day, Memorial Day, I don't know, Christmas Day. I don't know, some kind of weekend, holiday weekend coming up. Uh, holiday weekends really don't ever affect my work schedule, so I don't pay attention to any of them. But ooh, I don't like the looks of this. Don't like the looks of this. I bet these truck drivers are cussing me. Man, I bet they're cussing me. And it's my fault. I'll take full full responsibility for it. I I should have run up here. I had to go look at some timber down around Willard, Missouri last night. They're north of Springfield. And I went to look at some walnuts, so it was a little later when I got home. Uh, it had to have been dark when I got up here, but I, I should have come up here and looked at this. Should have done it, should have done it, should have done it. I knew I should have. Oh, there's a truck right there. There's a truck right there. Let me put this phone down. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's a sloppy mess back here. Not good at all. <laughs> Not good at all. Um, I tried, I've been on the skid steer a little bit trying to make some room for us to park and for the truck to turn around. Dad, he's back in his little Dodge Dakota this week. He's going to back right in there. Hopefully, I'm out of the way enough. I've tried stacking those logs where he can just pull right alongside and load in one place. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to get some of this pallet stuff out and start another row of blocking material. We'll start it right up along here. And while we do that, I'm going to... We need to buck that into links there that log it's too long of ash and there's a bunch of coals here of course that water over there it slid off the pile but we'll start another row right here which what we got coming out won't take too long to fill up a row uh, not a whole lot we can do till they get some logs out really it needs to dry some more and rain forecast start tomorrow fought rain for the next five days in the forecast so logging up here on the river might be slow for a while and it's not a uh, it's not that it's slow on our end because we can still move logs, but at the same time, if we can, uh, we can only bring these logs to the deck if we can't move them out and you know get them get them sold, get them where they need to be, then it doesn't do us any good at all. We'll move this right over here. We've got a bunch of blocking logs, and I would like to see them gone. At least the logs are hauling out today. We've been paid for, which you know, we can keep. If they can get a bunch of that stuff cleaned out, we can fill the deck back up again a couple more times. But and this stuff here, we've, we've probably got 20,000 feet or better of blocking. And these two piles here, these are big piles of logs with big logs in the piles. back about uh, you know why we didn't cut the tops up for firewood or biomass material well we don't have a biomass market of any kind in my area I don't really know of many biomass markets in the state of Missouri I'm not saying there's not any but I don't I don't know of any I know there's definitely none in my area and as far as firewood goes I I couldn't make any money cutting this stuff up for firewood you know uh, you guys up in the northeast and New England and stuff, or up north, get off there, guy. Don't give me a hard time today. Uh, you, when you guys have those rough winters, you know, firewood's a big deal. You know, our winters, I mean, yeah, they get cold, but they're not near as rough as what you guys do, so. We really don't, our, we don't have much of a firewood market. I mean, yeah, people buy firewood, but I couldn't afford not to cut logs just to cut firewood. Put it that way. We'll throw this up here, maybe. Pretty tall shot. Probably gonna roll back. Probably 
probably gonna roll back. Give him a flip there. Then uh, fire the skitter and we'll get some logs. 